Help me reach 2,000 subs before the end of the year. Thank you for subscribing. Hello, Flower Kid here. I can't thank you guys enough for the support on my last video talking about indie cartoons and how the word cartoon is changing for the better, allowing more people to make whatever they want. But one thing I did not talk about in that video is something that's very important and I think it's a stigmatism between different worlds or different atmospheres when it comes to cartoons. And I think it's approaching more and more and getting bigger as we keep talking about indie cartoons cartoons, and that is the difference between funded cartoons and indie cartoons. Both worlds are very different and have a different audience with a different atmosphere. And what I mean by that is that when you talk about, let's say, The Amazing Digital Circus, most people know about it and have watched it and probably formed their own opinion. But different from a funded project, like let's say Scavenger Region, you're more likely not to have a really good conversation about it because the other person don't know about it. And I'm starting to see this more common than ever. Ever. And it's really weird because there are a bunch of cartoons that are funded that are really good, but they don't feel the same as like the indie cartoons that I've mentioned throughout this channel. And some of them actually get really close to getting to that status or level. Take for instance, Fiona and Kate, the alternate universe of Adventure Time. And that almost had the same atmosphere level of everyone talking about it. but it kind of just got swept away. I think it's because the series ended and left it at a pretty good high note. But I'm just saying that I'm starting to see a trend where an indie cartoon has a bunch of press and then it kind of just goes away. I'm also not saying that it overshadows other cartoons like Scavenger Region. I don't think it just topples that over and being like no one else talks about it. I'm pretty sure people talk about that cartoon because it started off as a pilot and it was really good it was a really good pilot you should, I, I really suggest you go check it out the pilot is amazing and the TV show does it justice but one thing that is I'm starting to see is that indie cartoons are mostly free they're free you can watch it and you can share it with anyone and I think one of the biggest things with that the positive side of indie cartoons is that the advertisement comes free because someone is gonna just be like hey have you seen this cartoon it's like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes long. It's an easy watch and it's on YouTube for free. That's free advertising right there. You don't even have to pay for anyone to advertise it. But you also have that option to pay someone to advertise it. And that's just more traction to your video. And also, your audience is easy to reach because you are doing it on a platform where you can grow any type of audience. Like for instance, my YouTube channel, mostly cartoons, but that's besides the point. It's looking like that it is more beneficial to have an indie cartoon than a funded one. And one of the biggest things that people are talking about right now, which I'm saying this for my safety of my YouTube channel, so I don't condone piracy. And what are people doing right now is that they're pirating films, anime, cartoons, and whatnot. And a lot of people are saying and supporting this type of movement. And whether or not you're for this or you're against this, it just looks like doing stuff for free is the best way of getting a big audience. I mean, heck, you can start a YouTube channel right now, learn how to do animation, and start making cartoons. And that's the best way of actually gaining an audience. And you look on the other side, the funded side, it just seems more torturous. People are in a hierarchy where you can lose your position at any time, you're being mistreated, companies don't value you at what you should be valued because you make the money. It, it's terrible. I've heard a lot of people from Netflix, just in Netflix, working for Netflix, that it's like a living hell. They can't work what they want to work on, and if they get the chance to work on it and it doesn't work, they're just 
snapped away. And it, I don't know, it makes me, it makes me just don't want big companies to fund cartoons anymore. And I want more of us to help them. We, we help them and we speak out and being like, hey, you know what? If you make a cartoon, I'll donate money. I wish we could do that. But that's really complicated and I don't know how that would work out for most people because people need jobs and you can't realistically do that. And speaking from a relative standpoint, it's just more convenient to watch stuff that is free, you know, because you can just go watch it end of the day. While on a hosted platform, it's not going to be so fun because you have to pay money. You're not going to watch all the cartoons on there and you're not going to get the best value out of it. So maybe even speaking about it, I think companies should just start posting their cartoons to YouTube. I think they could make really good money out of it because you can get a lot of advertising out of it. You can get a lot of people coming in and out watching the video and hey, you, you know, you might be able to use that YouTube YouTube favoritism and get that more you get more people eyes on it I feel like personally that people are trying to go backwards or not people companies rather are trying to go backwards and trying to bring back cable TV and trying to bring back subscriptions and stuff because that's where it all started if you wanted cable TV you needed a subscription and people are trying to force that more and more and more like YouTube is trying to force what YouTube ads and like obviously it's not working and they need to find a different way to show ads that are not discomforting and just noisy. Like I said, I don't support ad blockers either so that, you know, this YouTube channel doesn't get flagged down or anything, but you know what I mean? I think just funded cartoons are not talked about as much. Maybe I do want funded cartoons to be talked about and be more in the YouTube or cartoon atmosphere, but I don't think that's going to really happen anytime soon because you have to have money and or you have to learn how to pirate and i don't think most people are tech savvy but yeah i think that's just the point case or the end of talking about funded cartoons maybe if something comes out of it i'll talk more about it in another video but one of the last things i wanted to talk about with indie cartoons is that some fans or some of the audience if you get big enough can be dangerous because whether you like it or not, when you get eyes on something, you're also gonna get mouths as well. And a lot of people, just what I've heard, is that a lot of people started to hate on The Amazing Digital Circus before they even watched it. And I and I think it's because of how popular it is and maybe what type of audience it attracts. I don't know what type of audience it attracts, but all I know is for sure that if something is popular, people are most likely gonna hate it without giving it a try. I mean, I think this is just common law on the internet by now, but it just, that's some of the downsides because I've seen the creator of the Amazing Digital Circus get doxxed and death threats because of a popular cartoon, which is weird. I don't like, I never had a death threat, but I assume that it's the worst thing ever. And why would you do it? Because you made something popular and free for others. So your opinion is you need to die. I don't know. It's insane. If you, if you know a person like that, or you know someone around you that thinks like that, you you really do need to get away from them. It's disturbingly disgusting. But I think that's one of the downsides I've seen from indie cartoons where people, um, when it, if it gets a popular point, people will hate. And also people will also gatekeep because people are like, oh, you don't know about this cartoon. I found it since the beginning. But listen, we'll talk about that all later in another video. Comment down below what you guys want me to talk about because I will be able to interact with the community more and talk about more topics that you want to hear if you comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. I want to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So thank you for the support and I love you guys.